painting sparkles on fabric. <laughs> yes, that's happening today on week eight of the North Pole Village Quilt Along. Come on in and join me. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jennifer Long from Sew a Story. I'm an early childhood educator turned Riley Lake fabric designer. We are finishing up, try not to cry, we are finishing up the North Pole Village quilt along this week and we are going to add all of the details that's just going to take it, tip it over the edge. So you've pieced everything together, you have your pockets um, if you've wanted them or not. Maybe you also have the felt panel characters so you have all of that wonderful detail. How do you finish this quilt that has pockets? Number one, how can you quilt it? And number two, what can you do to make it extra special? I have solutions for both of you, for both of those uh, issues. So let's talk about them. So first of all, quilting. If you're gonna send this quilt to a long arm quilter, there's a number of options that you can do, um, or if you're going to quilt it yourself um, on your long arm machine. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, on my long arm machine, I just have an option of blocking out those doors. So um, as I'm coming to it, I can just tell the machine, don't stitch these doors, and it will do a pantograph around, in and around those. Um, so it will just kind of go around, and then it'll just come up in a line around, and then it'll continue on. So that's number one, if you're a long arm quilter, um, something that you can do, or you can ask your long armor to do that. Number two is if you have a long arm yourself, you can just simply do straight line quilting. So you can just simply um, do straight line quilting in and around these areas, and then you'll just box around them yourself by hand. Number three is if you're doing this on your domestic machine, um, then you'll just do the same thing. You'll just do your wavy lines or your quilting, and then you'll just box around them. So it's just kind of like sewing in the ditch. So as soon as you hit a door, um, you've already got like a perimeter stitched around there. So you just sort of sew in the ditch till you come around again and then just continue your wavy line, hit the door and then just keep, so you don't have to keep cutting your threads all of the time. Um, and then finally, of course, the option, you can always do custom quilting on your quilt. So um, any, basically from doing it on your domestic machine all the way up to quilt, custom quilting, there's lots of ways that you can um, quilt this quilt. I use a snowflake pantograph here, and like I said, um, it just automatically stopped once I blocked those out, and it goes around and it just continues the pantograph. Today I also wanted to just mention um, a product that I have developed with um, ThermoWeb, and this product is a heat and bond product, and it's called Sparkle Paste by Jennifer Lago, so a story for heat and bond. So it comes in so many wonderful colors. I am going to share a list on the blog of these colors, um, all of these beautiful colors here, so that you know um, the colors that I have used for this quilt. And I am going to do a, a lot of fun, <laughs> a lot of fun on this quilt. But I also um, just wanted to talk about one thing today. So this product um, is a heat and bond product. You can, it's like a fabric paint, so you can paint it on to anywhere you want in any color and let it just air dry and, and it will be wonderful and lovely um, like that. If you want to take your iron, so I will use my Elisa iron and I use um, another product that is made by ThermoWeb, it's called Pressing Paper um, and I put it on top then you can heat set this product. And so that way you can throw it in the washing machine. It won't, the sparkles won't like pick off or flake off or in any way, shape or form. They are heat set. Ooh, how exciting is that, right? So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this color. It's called the snow. It's like an iridescent um, kind of almost clear um but it, i'm going to use it as snow as it's going to have like lots of sparkle but um it'll be really great in all the snow and everywhere where i have a snow capped roof i am going to paint inside of there and then i will heat set it 
Um, I'll do a little bit of painting here, but I'm going to take it to my, um, I'll take it off the wall um, after the, after the video and I'll heat set it on my pressing table. But I also have those applique snowflakes that we did last week. And I am going to definitely do some painting around the edges of them for sure. And I might even fill them in too. So this is such a fun product. But I don't want to just stop there because I want this to, village. I mean, this is a magical village. This is the North Pole village, right? So I want to add a little bit of other sparkle. I have this um, silver color here, and I'm going to use that on my streets. So I'm going to just put a little bit, so it kind of has like a cobblestone feel, and I'm going to add that detail in there. And I have these other colors that I want to do. I don't want to overdo anything, but I do want to add a little bit of whimsy. So I might even take um, if you could kind of imagine like the moon would be shining on the top left corner. So everything maybe on the top left side of every single building would kind of glow in the moonlight. Do you know what I mean? So, um, I might take a little bit of like the pink color and then just sparkle it over here, a little bit of the yellow and add some sparkles here. So when you're kind of looking at it coming down, it has that, um, that sort of magical, view of being in the North Pole Village in the evening. Oh my goodness. Now this is so fun. Um, there's no wrong way to use sparkle paste. And as you know, I am an early childhood educator. So um, you know how, if you're working with children, you know how, um, how excited they can get and how much um, fun that they can have and learning that can take place and responsibility when you um, afford it to them. So um, some of these, some, they might not have been, been able to be involved in the whole assembly of this quilt, but you could definitely involve them in this sparkle paste because there is no wrong way. And then they will really feel like they have had a hand and they will have had a hand in making, bringing magic to this quilt or really anything with fabric. Um, and then just make sure you heat set it so that when they are working with it and playing with it, that um, the, the sparkle stays on where it should. And um, here we go. So I'm gonna just do a little bit of painting with this snow color first. Then, um, like I said, uh, I'll leave the video, but I will take it over to my pressing mat and use a pressing paper. I'll lay a piece of pressing paper on top of this the piece that I have sparkled and I'll just heat set it down with my iron. You can follow the uh, manufacturer's directions there, but just make sure that you're just going up and down and not pulling it back and forth because you could drag the sparkle paste up and down. So just go up and down with your iron, just press, 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 and just hold it for a few seconds in each spot. You know, you can take it off and check again. Um, if you want it to have that, um, like dimension so that, you know, like the lift of sparkle, you're going to want to wait till it air dries first. That is one thing that is important. So you could do the whole thing and sparkle it all up and then come back in a couple of hours. I'll take it off my wall and then I'll press it. So, um, that way, um, if I'm leaving little dots that those dots will stay as a dot and they won't get squashed in when you're using pressing paper. So thank you so much for being here. Um, it's, it's been just a pleasure. We have so much more fun. If you haven't um, already explored the Sew a Story world, um, I'd love to invite you to a couple of different um, and amazing memberships that we have. We have the Sew a Story Pattern Club, which is a craft pattern and a quilt pattern every single month. Um, it's definitely worth checking out because that membership is an amazing detail deal and um, it will be we'll be adding um, to the membership in the new year so if you can get in this year you'll be at a much lower price than in the new year so I would highly suggest that's my tip and trick to you um, you'll be staying at the ground the ground floor level there this year if you get in so I would highly suggest to get in on the sew story pattern club now um, and then the modern ragdoll membership opens up quarterly it's going to be opening up December 1st again, um, just for one week only. And it is um, in the hoop. So a machine embroidery 
doll membership. And um, we do a video together every week. We get a uh, sew a story machine embroidery pattern with all of the files and all the formats, five by seven, six by 10, eight by 12. So if you had fun with machine embroidery here, I would highly suggest that you come over and get your name on the wait list uh, and, and hop on in because that, that membership is um, like no other. So yeah, just a little bit about me and um, I'm happy to have you in the Sew a Story family. And I will see you, all the links are below. I will see you again very soon. I'm gonna go and get painting here. Bye for now.